It takes a lot of work to be a legal immigrant in this country. I should know. I came here um, 15 years ago from Ecuador as an exchange student for which I had to do a lot of paperwork. After that, I fell in love with Alaska and I decided that I wanted to go to UAA. So I did a lot more paperwork to get um, a student visa and I went there for four years. Well, four years later, um, I graduated and someone offered me a job, so I had to do a lot more paperwork to get a work visa. And as luck may have it, a couple years after that, I met a wonderfully quiet, blue-eyed introvert who won me over with his demure behavior and who eventually became my husband. Well, when you get married to someone in this country and an American and you are not from here, all of your visas get taken away and then you are granted um, permanent residency in the form of a green card for which you have to do more paperwork. <laughs> so at this point, I am a seasoned veteran at immigration affairs. After all, I've been doing this for over 10 years. So I tell my husband, I got this. I'm good, we're fine. I know how to do this. And in fact, because I know it's a lot of work, I'm gonna lawyer up and get ourselves a lawyer and he's gonna help us because this is gonna be a lot of work, a lot of paperwork, and this is just gonna get easier that way. So indeed, um, the lawyer is very helpful and he helps us get all the paperwork that we need um, in order to prove that our marriage is indeed legit. Um, among these papers that we need to get are um, affidavits from our friends swearing to the government that they have seen us kiss at least once. <laughs> um, <laughs> Also, pictures of us having fun. Um, <laughs> just uh, bank statements and uh, credit card statements and anything that we own together, our house, our car, um, you know, just uh, our cell phone bills, all of that goes into this big fat file. And then the last thing that you have to do is um, an interview with a US consul um, for which our lawyer gave us a list of, of questions that um, we just needed to go over in order to make sure that we were prepared for this meeting. So for the next couple months after we get the questionnaire, um, we just spend our date nights uh, quizzing each other. <laughs> Super romantic, you guys. What is my favorite color? What side of the bed do I sleep on? What color is your toothbrush? What is my favorite brand of shoes? What are you allergic to? You know, just little things that if you are in a legitimate relationship, technically should just be second nature to know. So we go over this over and over for a couple of months until we are solid. I mean, we are ready, we are gonna go, and we're gonna rock this, it's fine. Um, and the day of the interview um, comes and we go, downtown to the Office of Immigration and Naturalization Services. And we walk into this um, office and sit across this very young and very kind um, lady consul. Um, and we sit in this order, my lawyer and my husband deny across from her. She comes in and she sits down and she turns on a uh, video camera behind her and she opens the big fat file with my entire life in it and um, starts asking questions. Um, so uh, state your names for the record and how did you meet um, and what do you guys do for work? And she just starts going over questions that you know we, we have gone over, so it's, it's all fine. And at this point in time, since I am on stage right now, you have probably realized that I am the talkative extrovert in this relationship. 
So I am the one fronting all the questions and I think I'm doing a fabulous job. <laughs> you know, just answering them all and I'm like, I know that one, I know that one, I know that one, I'm good. Um, well, I think she got tired of hearing my voice because she turned to my husband and point blank asked him, so um, tell me what you love about Fernanda. Five seconds go by. <laughs> 10 seconds go by. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it starts getting awkward really quick. And my lawyer on the other side starts looking at him like, dude, you gotta come up with something, man. Like, <laughs> Really? Nada. <laughs> so I started getting a little bit anxious at this point and a little bit pissed off and a little bit worried, uh, to tell you the truth. I mean, I did marry this guy who doesn't know what he loves about me. So I kick him underneath the table and I'm like, dude, not for real. Answer the nice lady, you know, tell her what you love about me. <laughs> nope. So uh, it was awkward enough that uh, the consul said, um, well, just uh, let's close up this file and um, thank you and um, we'll let you know. <laughs> so we walk out of her office and into a waiting room and my lawyer stays inside with her. And I turn to my husband in the waiting room and I am pissed. <laughs> So I ask him, what the hell were you thinking? And you know what his answer was? That question was not in the questionnaire. <laughs> so I am literally about to kill him with my bare hands when my lawyer comes out and reassures me um, and you know you're, you're it's, it's probably going to be fine you know you just need to you know wait and see a letter will come in the mail so we go home and I am packing because it's the only thing I can do because uh, surely I'm about to get deported <laughs> and the next two weeks were so painful so so very painful watching the mail every day until the letter did arrive and I opened it and you know what it may have been the fact that the lady consul was young and inexperienced, or it maybe was that she took pity on us, or maybe it was the fact that she is also married to a quiet introvert, <laughs> and she knows how these things go. <laughs> but God bless her anyway, because when I opened that letter, it said, welcome to the United States. <laughs>